While scouring the wilds of West Texas, Southern New Mexico, and Northern Mexico, we often encounter many strange and intimidating creatures. Generally speaking, these encounters bring about an even deeper fascination for the natural world around us. However, I can unashamedly admit there's one animal in the wilds of Texas that gives me the willies, and that animal is the giant red-headed centipede. The giant red-headed centipede, Scalopendra heros, is a type of arthropod that is a common resident throughout most of the Sonoran and Chihuahuan deserts of the United States and Mexico. It ranges throughout Texas, and it is common throughout this state. It also occurs in Oklahoma, eastern Louisiana, and southern Missouri. It is a habitat generalist, meaning that it can thrive in a variety of habitats, as evidenced by its large natural range. Wherever it occurs, it prefers dark and humid environments, and many are found under rocks and other scattered debris. Giant red-headed centipedes have a cylindrical body that is broken into either 21 or 23, but never 22, segments. Each segment bears one pair of legs, one on each side of the body, bringing the total leg count to either 42 or 46. The name centipede actually translates into 100 feet, although this name is a misnomer. It is with this multitude of legs that this animal moves surprisingly fast and quite erratic. The body coloration varies from different shades of orange, brown, or black. The constant coloration that all specimens exhibit is the bright red head, hence the name red-headed centipede, and the black tail segment complete with black legs. The head is unique from other arthropods that it contains two sets of legs. The first set is folded back and used almost as a type of antenna, while the second set, known as the forsuples, are curved modified legs that are used to grasp food and to inject venom. While some varieties of the 3,000 plus described species have groupings of ocelli that form compound eyes, this species is not one of them. This species relies primarily on the vibration that it feels from the ground and motions that are picked up by its antennae. This species of centipede is also the largest species in Texas, as well as the United States. Adults range in size from 5 to 6 inches, although it is not uncommon to observe specimens approaching the 8 inch to 9 inch length. While other arthropods and arachnids possess an exoskeleton that has a protective cuticle, centipedes lack that protective adaptation. Without this cuticle, centipedes desiccate very quickly and must always be near moisture, thus the reason that most are observed underground or under debris where humidity levels allow it to maintain its moisture content. Like other members of its genus, this centipede is nocturnal and is strictly carnivorous feeding primarily on other invertebrate animals such as crickets, moths, grasshoppers, and the like. However, large individuals have been known to feast upon small lizards, snakes, and even frogs. One species from South America has been observed even feeding on bats that it captures in mid-flight. The prey is subdued and injected with venom by the large forsupials, then pulled into the mandibles for live consumption. Very little information is known on the breeding habits of this formidable looking creature. What is known is that there is no external copulation between males and females. Rather, the males will deposit a sperm cell for the female to find and to absorb. Once the female prepares a nest in the soil, she will then lay between 15 and 60 eggs that resemble small balls of yellow jelly. Unlike most other arthropods, the females of this species show great maternal care. The females will coil around the jelly-like eggs, protecting them from predators. She will often clean them, protecting them from fungi as well. However, if overly disturbed, this maternal care will cease, and she will eat the eggs. If the eggs are lucky enough to hatch during the two-month-long incubation period, the babies, who look very much like the adults, fend for and take care of themselves. Giant red-headed centipedes are long-lived compared to most arthropods from this area. Many specimens have a life cycle of six years or more. The venomous bite of this uncommon yet fascinating creature is powerful enough to cause significant pain and swelling lasting several hours, but there has never been a documented human death in this species. Medical attention should always be sought, however, as the risk of anaphylactic shock is always a possibility. But remember, this animal is far more afraid of you than you are of it. We are nothing more to it than a predator that is a thousand times its size.